Mr. New York. Mark Simone. 710 WOR. Well, Ann Coulter, the best-selling author and a great columnist, a follower on Twitter. But, you know, the best place now is Substack, because over there she's got uh, all kinds of posts, videos, podcasts, interviews. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? Uh, I'm good. I was looking at watching this Joe Biden interview. Uh, he wants to do something about the border. He said right now they're studying to see if he has the power to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> How long can they get away with this? Uh, I, I, I've, got, I've been trying to take a poll on this, whether anyone, anyone is falling for, um, oh, I just don't have the power. Yeah. If only you'd pass this bill. <laughs> Um, and I don't think anyone believes that the people who say it are trying to con others, so you'll hear it a lot. Um, but, yeah, of course, previous Congresses <laughs> thought, huh, should the president be able to protect our border? Um, and he and, and Alejandro Mayorkas uh, are just openly violating the laws, a few I may have mentioned before, yeah. um, all illegals presenting themselves at the border, all asylum seekers, and again, they're all fake, uh, they have to be held in detention. But even before that, uh, if they could possibly be a public charge, they have to be turned away. If they haven't presented all uh, relevant vaccinations, they have to be turned away. If they have passed through countries <laughs> where they would have been safe, any other country, and if that means if they set foot in Mexico, they have to be turned away. Okay, that's in the law right now. And, and he is just ignoring it. Yes, but they're coming because this is a land of opportunity. Shoplifting is legal. Squatting is legal. <laughs> no bail, no jail. That's why they want to come here. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know, you just reminded me. This is a story I, I tell the full of the tales on in Adios America. Uh, but it, it happened to be a forensic files once. There was, um, I forget where the Muslim Arab man was from, but some Muslim Arab country. And he marries, I think it was a Mexican woman. They have a girl and they're living, I don't know, someplace in like Ohio. She starts to date a black kid in high school, they think this shames the family, and so they stab her to death, what? which shockingly was entirely captured on, on FBI tapes because this guy was already being watched for terrorism, um, suspected terrorism. So the jury got to hear the entire disgusting, the mother is holding her down while the father is stabbing Ugh. her to death, and one of what, what, why you just reminded me of this, the opportunity to shoplift. At one point, we're listening to the tapes that the FBI had collected, and luckily Forensic Files didn't have, like, a, a political lawyer. No, you can't put that in. And at one point, the, the Arab father who, who stabbed to death his daughter for dating a black kid, he's talking about how great America is because there are so many welfare programs to scam. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for cheering us up. That's a great lunchtime story. To... <laughs> I thought that would be a nice little yeah. um, diversity is our strength. We're a nation of immigrants point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, this Arizona uh, decision, uh, boy, the fake news for uh, the last 18 hours trying to make this the number one issue of the election. I don't think it. Now, I'm, I'm pro-choice. I don't think you are. But uh, I uh, this Arizona choice, uh, to go back to an 1864 law, I don't know. It's a little crazy, isn't it? No, you're right. Um, if only DeSantis had hung on my every word the way Trump does. Um, I mean, Dobbs was, yes, I'm completely pro-life. Uh, I was so happy when the Dobbs decision came down because, you know, whether or not states, people end up voting for abortion, it was just, it was hideous and intellectually offensive to claim that that's what the drafters of the Constitution were thinking of. Um, yes, we must include a right for a woman to, to, to kill off her baby, but the position of Antonin Scalia was it's a state issue. Yeah. I've been baffled from the beginning by this with people like Lindsey Graham saying, we'll make a federal law. 
No, our argument has always, always been this isn't a federal issue. We have a constitution of the United States. The Congress only has limited powers. And guess what, baby cakes? One of them isn't regulate abortion law. Um, so now, of course, it should go back to the states. And as you mentioned, yes, I, I am a pro-life zealot, but I have been doing substack videos and, and writing columns the new the new baby killers are these pro life zealots who keep who 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 have leapt past the change hearts and minds section to start passing these draconian laws on on abortion. I'm all in favor of draconian laws, but oh my gosh, are we losing elections? There have been seven votes put to the people since Dobbs, including in very red states. Um, Trump won by 15, 20 points. Kentucky and Montana. The slightest restriction on abortion, when it is sent to the people, loses. So, no Republicans, this should not be your number one issue. Otherwise, there will be no elected Republicans. And you know, take your chances with the kind of the kind of abortion law Nancy Pelosi is going to write. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm pro-choice, but I, uh, to me, the choice. And I wouldn't have uh, Supreme Courts and states deciding this. Let the voters decide. Put it on the ballot or let the legislators step. But uh, if it's Arizona, let's say this thing stays and you, you'd have to go to another state to get an abortion. It's not the worst thing. I mean, the worst thing would be a nationwide right. ban. So, um, um, but, you know, since the Dobbs decision. Right, or a nationwide um, legalization. <laughs> That's the point of federalism. States can do what they want. Um, I've seen the writing on the wall that looks like, wow, when, when voters are allowed to vote, they, they seem to want to allow abortion to be, to be available. But the main point is the conservative, the right wing, the Antonin Scalia position is federal government has nothing to do with this. Send it back to the state. Yeah. Uh, and um, by the way, I got the information on my Cornell speech. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Ann, <laughs> Ann Coulter will be speaking at Cornell. And, uh, that's, Tuesday. Oh, it's this Tuesday. It's not that far away now. The public can go see you speak? Well, right now, um, the, the, the university is sponsoring it. Right now, they're saying, no, you have to have um, be a Cornell student or staff, which is you know just calculated to make sure no one is there. What liberals do is um, they all you know, sign up and get tickets and then don't show, which I guess is better than Antifa showing, but I'm I'm going to push to open it to the public. It's 7 p.m. in Myron Taylor Hall next Tuesday, April 16th, and um, I'll probably send out a subsec on it if I can But is there someplace people show up that day. You're going to get in. Oh, okay, <laughs> but where should they go? Just... Cornell University, Ithaca, New York, Myron Taylor Hall. Myron I, Taylor? I, Boy, this guy must have given yes, a lot of money. Yes, I had a, lot of, a lot of history lectures in that class. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let me ask you a personal question. Are you hurt that you were not invited to the Don Lemon wedding? <laughs> yeah, that was quite a collection of, of thieves, eh? <laughs> I don't know if you remember this. We were in a restaurant with a bunch of people one night. And he walked in, and you know, like nobody looked at him. He came right over the table and said, "Well, you're not going to say hello to me." Remember that? Yes, I do. Uh, so you think? Think <laughs> yes, after all of that, we would have been invited to this wedding? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll be hearing much from Don Lemon again. No, no. And um, so, uh, I, I, I don't know. Michael Goodwin. He wrote an incredible column today about the illegals that come here this one's a criminal this one's a thief shoplifting is mm -hmm. legal he gets a free hotel room he gets a, a credit card he gets everything he gets free laundry service food service if you're a homeless guy in america for the last 20 years remember the politicians said, well there's not much we can do what can we do yeah what must they be thinking i don't think they're very happy about it <laughs> and in fact, I, you've probably seen this, but particularly in Chicago, um, a lot of black activist groups have gone really, really ballistic over all these benefits that, that the, quote, migrants, illegal immigrants who never should have been let into the country under federal law, um, and are standing up at meetings saying, hey, this is what we've been asking for for our community for, for a decade. We don't get any of this. Um, you're, you're spending it all on illegals. Um, and I think it's always worth mentioning because both, you know, 
liberals and illegal immigrants themselves never understand this. Um, immigrants aren't black. <laughs> we have we have um, you know special rules, special constitu to constitutional provisions to make up for the legacy of slavery and the legacy of Jim Crow. Immigrants, we didn't do anything to you. Yeah. So sorry, you got to throw in your lot with white men. Well, uh, hey, if you want to see Ann Coulter, uh, she's going to speak at Cornell Tuesday, this Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, Myron Taylor Hall, uh, if you're near Cornell. Technically next Tuesday, since today is Wednesday. Well, that's like next week, right? Yes, exactly. Tuesday the 16th. This next. always seems to indicate like this week. Oh, me. okay. Next Tuesday. Sorry. The 16th. And, of course, follow her on Twitter. And the best place is Substack because she's got videos, columns, podcasts, everything. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. Uh, oh, and everybody check out the webpage. Now, I want you to watch this. This is a very important speech by Joe Biden. Tell me what the hell he is saying. I don't care if you're a cryptologist. You cannot tell me what he is saying here. It's totally unintelligible. Take a look at this. Hey, also, Donald Trump, great new ad, an Eclipse ad. It's up on the webpage. Go to 710wor.com slash mark. 710wor.com slash mark.